more on the Bridget McKenzie saga now. Sky News political editor Andrew Clonell joins us with new developments on the sports rort saga. Andrew, you've got some news concerning Labor's push for a Senate inquiry into all of this. What can you tell us? I can tell you that uh, Labor has got the uh, agreement of the entire crossbench. That's what I'm being told. One Nation, the Green Centre Alliance, pretty much everyone uh, is supporting an inquiry into the Bridget McKenzie scandal. So a Senate inquiry will go ahead. Labor are now pushing a set of terms of reference, negotiating them with the crossbench. They want to look at the behaviour of McKenzie, the behaviour of her office, the role of the Prime Minister's office in the affair and the role government ministers may have had in the affair. Of course, we've heard around the place of government ministers lobbying uh, Ms McKenzie for grants in their electorate. So uh, far from over this scandal, um, they, they, Anthony Albanese will get up today, I think, and talk about a lack of leadership by the Prime Minister in taking so long to remove McKenzie. And uh, they are also going to call on the Prime Minister not to take action against any public servants for telling the truth during this inquiry, Tom. So uh, the big aspects there, the most uncomfortable ones, of course, of this inquiry will be what they can delve into in terms of the Prime Minister's office in particular and I guess to a slightly lesser extent the Ministers. That, that would be the real worry, you'd assume. Well, the real question is, you know, will they call political advisers? You know, that, that happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, that's where you're really going to get the meat in this story, and particularly, say, former advisers in McKenzie's office. They would have a lot of a story to tell, as we've revealed on Sky News. So all that's ahead. Uh, you know, he might remove Bridget McKenzie this week, the PM, depending on what the Gaetjens report says. But uh, the opposition obviously pretty determined to keep this scandal going, try to implicate the Prime Minister's office. We know an advisor in the Prime Minister's office, Chris Daffy, who we've revealed, who was known as the Nats Whisperer, was liaising with Mackenzie's office on these projects. Um, some people, including the whistleblower, spoke to us, ha have told me that uh, Daffy didn't have as great a role as p some people are making out and that, you know, it was very much driven by Bridget McKenzie and two of her staffers, Richard Hyatt and Beck Johnson. We also know that, I've also revealed that uh, there was a meeting uh, uh, late the year before the election, 2018, uh, involving Liberal MPs and Andrew Hurst, the Liberal Party Federal Director, where Hurst was told uh, or asked, what can we do to speed up getting this money out there by MPs? And he said he would go and handle it. We don't know what happened after that. Indeed. So some interesting probing possibly going on. Andrew Clonell will keep abreast of things as uh, that negotiation continues over just what will be fair game. Thank you.